Does this brand new turtle figure from Super 7 have what it takes to be considered the greatest of all time? Now, we've had plenty of toys that can hoop in the past. From biker mice and backstreet boys, to mac and cheese, space jam, and of course ninja turtles. But this new ultimate slam dunk and down from Super 7 might just have what it takes to go down as the best one we've ever seen. The figure comes in this bright green slipcover, and if you take a zoom in, you see Donnie's face with those 84s on either side. The back of the box has the classic bio, which you can pause to read if you like. The figure was inspired by the classic Slam Dunk Don from the Vintage Turtles line. This one came with a bright green sewer ball and a beat up trash can hoop. And because it was the early 90s, you know he was going to be wearing that red jersey with the classic number 23. They also had a variant of this figure with a white jersey that was a Walmart exclusive. This one is one of the holy grails of the Vintage Turtles collection and I don't have it yet, but I definitely want one one day. But enough turtle history, let's break into the new figure. Of course all Ultimate figures come with a whole ton of accessories, so let's check those out first. We get that classic trash can hoop. You would think with Donnie being a genius he might come up with something a little more high tech, but I guess this one will do. We get a really nice looking sewer lid cover that I was surprised to see was double sided. It has great paint and is really shiny. Really nice. And something that didn't come with the original is this backboard. And if you want to, you can even use it as a shield, just like that classic half court figure. We get a nice looking bow with purple tape all around. And even a removable pair of goggles to increase that court vision. Instead of the bright green snot ball, they went with a more traditional ball for this figure, which I do think works pretty well. Of course, we get an alternate head sculpt and a whole set of extra hands, including one that can hold the ball with that little peg on top. But before we get into the figure, let's assemble that basketball hoop. You probably noticed the peg hole on the sewer lid, and the bow fits conveniently in there. And there is a little notch on the trash can so you can slip the backboard on. Next, put that hoop on top of the staff, and boom, shakalaka, we have our basketball hoop. Now with accessories aside, let's check out the figure itself. The figure comes standard with the tongues out MJ face, and I can't help but be reminded of my least favorite Ninja Turtle of all time, this wacky action Mike. But this one I think does it better. Here it is with those removable goggles. Here's the alternate head with no goggles, and alternate head with the goggles. One of my favorite parts about this figure so far are the amount of details they put into these shoes. They've got those classic pumps on the tongue, leather details on the side, and even some bushy socks sticking up over the top. This time instead of 23, he's sporting the number 84, which has to be a reference to Chris Webber with the Pistons, right? Great jokes aside, it's definitely a tribute to the birth year of the Turtles, 1984. We also get some great looking turtle shell elbow pads and knee pads. My figure did come with one little blemish on the shorts, but we can easily clean that up with some white paint. After some quick posing, I could tell that this figure was ready for a dunk contest. But of course he needs just one more thing. That basketball. The ball was easy enough to peg into that extra hand, and I was able to swap it out with ease. The arms move enough you could even have him hauling in the rebound. But just hold on a second, there's one more way he can hold that basketball. That's right, the pointer finger becomes that classic spinning basketball trick that I tried so many times as a kid and could never ever do. But enough talking, looks like Donnie's ready to do his best Shaq impersonation and tear this rim down. All in all, this might be my favorite Super 7 Ultimate figure to ever come out, and it's definitely in the running for one of my best figures of the year. Don't forget to slam that subscribe button and do some trash talking in the comments. And do me a favor and share this video so I can get the ball rolling on this YouTube channel.